What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day to this video. We are going to be taking a look at Auction OS Android 10 for our Redmi Note 5 Pro. So again, this is a OnePlus 7 base and I haven't actually testing Auction OS based on Android 10 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro for quite a while. So again, this is by a different developer. This isn't Gozuram, which always gives us one of the best Auction OS ports for the Wired or any kind of another devices like even Redmi Note 6 Pro Tulip. But this is by the Nephron, another developer. And then again, the works over here are just pretty much amazing from both of them. Again, this ROM isn't actually as polished as you previously have the auction OS on the Android Pi. So again, over here, everything that you need is working. But for example, if you're wondering that off-screen fingerprint scanner is working or not, it doesn't, ambient display is broken. Then again, the fingerprint scanner animation over here on the lock screen, it's still there, it's not removed. So again, it's a pretty bare bones port from the OnePlus 7, but still again, just works amazing like the performance over here on the android 10 of auction os is just brings me back to the oreo days like even for example on the oneplus 6 on its stable update it's just so much faster than android pi it's like amazing so again going through just apps and stuff even for stock apps is like just amazing even for like third party apps like instagram it's just blazes through all the apps again the gestures and everything are just amazing over here so without wasting any further time let's just explore through the rom because Auction OS 10 is quite different. Well, I will be showing an installation method in this video, but it won't be actually same for any kind of future videos that I do. As this is the first build, it is kind of janky in order to install. So again, if you want to install this, just follow this method for this video only. So again, just taking a look over here, as you can see, pretty normal Auction OS home screen. These are the OnePlus 70 wallpapers. You have the Chrome icon bit ugly right over there. Yes, it has icon customizations with the Android 10 overlays. It's not auction OS customization as before. So the icons look a bit weird than before. So again, going through the shelf and stuff, everything just feels amazing. Like the touch response in this ROM is like literally mind blowing for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. I have never actually experienced this smoothness from the touch screen that I have over here on my wired cards, Redmi Note 5 Pro has been like shipping with like four different displays in India. And then again, I am pretty blessed to have one of the best one of them. Cause mine one actually even supports 65 Hertz mod, but again, over here, as you can see, the touch response is just mind blowing. So again, just going through more apps and stuff, you pretty much have your normal things. Like even you have the game space now, cause the fanatic mode has been now completely replaced right over here. So for example, you can now completely toggle it right over here, as you can see looks pretty great then again all the graphics optimization and stuff and everything gaming related can be now toggled or just added or removed right over here so again just going through more apps we have a pretty base version of the auction noise camera so you have the night mode and the portrait mode removed over here so it does actually work pretty great as you can see i have actually captured few pictures and the hdr does actually work over here like the dynamic range isn't near to anything like gcam but again if you want better camera experience, Gcam is your best bet right over here. Cause I haven't actually tested any kind of Anix camera, but I just don't hope it to work on the Android 10. So again, just pretty much nothing. Directly going to the gallery. Even the gallery UI is a bit different as you can see. Then again, let's just hop onto the settings app directly cause the status bar and stuff pretty much remain the same. But as you can see, the shade is now much more darker. It's pretty much almost black on the AMOLED phones, but yep, you do get some additional quick settings right over here. Nothing new. You also get a pre-installed ringer mode. So you don't have to just use any kind of another apps. As you can see, completely works. Vibrate, silent, ring. Amazing. So again, going through more apps and stuff. If you go to the Wi-Fi and internet, you can quickly share the Wi-Fi. So all the Android 10 features are actually present over here. So even scrolling down, you have display in that, screen calibration broken. Then again, you have full screen optimization works, night mode works, reading mode. I don't guess it's anything different. Oh yeah, it actually does work. So it grayscales the display, then again video enhancer, don't hope it to work. Ambient display is broken. And then if you can observe, all the icons are now different, yep. So coming from the beta, this is the public stable version of the OnePlus 7's Android 10 update. So you have the latest and the greatest of every single feature. Going to sounds and vibrations, pretty much nothing. So going through customization, this is completely new in auction OS. So pretty much you have complete system customization right over here. So you get pre-installed themes, just like before, like white, black and vibrant tints. So pretty much I'm on nuisance dark, but now if I just completely switch to it again, apply, as you can see, completely goes dark. The icons have been now completely changed, but now I can just completely customize it like the clock styles, which are no use, fingerprint animations, no use. Then you have the accent colors, pretty much just keep anything. Or the tone, now my favorite tone is just colorful. So let's just switch to it, completely works. You have shapes, again my favorite one would be circle. Apply that, again in the icon pack you have the 70 McLaren edition. And then 
just diwali which is again pretty great the icons do actually look very pretty i know i said pretty a lot i, I i'm just sorry i can't help it but there you go the round icon pack the auction pack and just one plus they all look very beautiful and then you are just lit font so again going back nothing buttons and gestures you do get the only android 10 gestures which are pretty much like miui 10 but now you can completely customize between just navbar if you like it left and right gestures with if you want the pill at the bottom which is like very ugly so just oneplus is amazing to provide that option and then bottom gestures just like before as oneplus had but now i'm kind of used to this miui 10 once so again coming back you have off screen gestures completely broken apps and notifications you have various permissions options added but that's all the android 10 stuff you can check it and then coming to the lock screen and security you do have security updates right over here and the google play system updates now i don't think it has been rolled out but you can surely check it and then in terms of biometric security face unlock is as broken as always then again there is no google trusted face in android 10 and fingerprint scanner does actually work i mean it doesn't work If the screen is off, as you can see, completely dead. But once you wake up the screen, it's pretty fast. So again, going back to the settings app, location, you have much more options over there. Even the privacy tab has been added, as this is Android 10. Again, in digital well-being, you also have the parental controls right over here, which you can download through the Play Store. And then in utilities, you have pretty much all the older stuff. So quick launch broken over here, as we don't have the in-display fingerprint scanner. Parallel app works. OnePlus reliability, none of use to us. App locker works, schedule power and off works, quick reply and landscape works, and then going to the about phone section, you have the Alpha 10 version by the Nephron, Oxygen OS stable, and Android version 10. Again, the security patch over oh, here is October, which is again pretty latest, and that's pretty much it for the Oxygen OS 10 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, if you want the installation, you can just completely follow me. You have to have a bit of experience in installing the ROMs. If you are a newbie, just wait a month or few. Just subscribe down there, and I will upload a much more easier version of this. But until now, let's just power off our phone. There you go. It completely works. There is no vault patch needed. It's already included. And then hold on your power and volume up at the same time in order to go to the recovery. I hope you know this. As you can see, I'm using a Orange Fox recovery right over here, but you can just use any one that you like. Make sure that you're decrypted. Yes, in order to boot this ROM, decryption is pretty necessary. So if you don't actually have that, in Orange Fox, you can of course go to Manage Partitions, Data, hit Enter, and there you go, Format Data. Interrupt. It's much more easier. But then just go to Wipe, Dalway, Cache, Data, System, Vendor. Just swipe to wipe. Now our phone will be completely clean. Just go to Home. and extract the rom zip just do not install it as a normal zip so go to the folder vendor img vendor swipe to flash pack boot img for boot select to swipe back system for system swipe to install and the rom is now finally installed so again over here as you can see all the zips have been successfully installed now you have to just go to home reboot the phone to system and the phone will not actually boot so you will have to wait 20 seconds on the oxygen os for it to boot loop and then power off your phone forcefully which is by holding the power button for 10 seconds and then reboot the system again so as you can see it's now booting but just let it boot for like around 20 to 30 seconds Now it's been 20 seconds. Let me just forcefully reboot the phone, just like that. And now the phone will boot in around like one to two minutes. And the phone is finally back up. So let's just set it up quickly. So agree, agree, amen, 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 agree, skip, skip, continue. Next, just turn off everything. Accept. Just skip this too. Do not add face data. If you want the fingerprint scanner, you can of course add it right over here too. But now I'm just going to skip. Not now. Skip anyway. One plus slate. Next. Navigation gestures. I don't want the set. I don't want the and what the fuck? Why is this not skippable like M I O ten? Home. I mean the animations are pretty good. Recent apps panel. Start. Wow, the setup has been quite changed. You have finally set up your OnePlus 7 on Android 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and share this video with your friends and family. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.